Tonight on New Canadian Gold Rush, Tyler Gregg and Sean from Infinity Prospecting explore British Columbia's gold-rich caribou regions searching for adventure. Pretty beautiful spot. Because it is clear up there. Pretty beautiful spot. We were just panning the road. Imagine there's gold in the road. It's, it happens all over the place. <laughs> Did I see? There is, there is actually gold in there. Yeah. Of course. Is there? Like I said, it's almost impossible not to find. There's a couple over there. Yeah, there's three, four, five, six on here. The ten or There's something. little bits of gold right here. Oh yeah. And uh, quite a few actually. This is what you get from just randomly panning the road. That's why you guys got to get out. Oh, to there's BC more Canada. over here too. Yeah, just first pan off the top in the road. That's <laughs> British Columbia, Canada for you. <laughs> Another Virgin Creek. This is a new forestry forestry road that uh, they punched in with the forest fires last year. This is looking really perspective. Okay, so we're trying to look at these banks as we're going along to try to determine how much kind of topsoil there is and if they're around river cobbles and how much kind of bedrock and other larger pseudo bedrock pieces, kind of like these are sticking around because they form natural ledges like in this waterfall. Very possible in this area there could be some nuggets if someone's brave enough to go down there. Lots of mosquitoes too, but uh, thankfully I'll get bitten so you don't have to. Enjoy the show. No, I washed it last time. Oh, really? So, still a few little dots, a couple. That's a decent little plate. So, some calcite minerals here. You can see it's kind of chalk like. Often indicates gold. All right, morale or for, false morale. Morale or for. <laughs> this is, this is why. Do it? Morale. Let me do it. Morale. Or false morale. <laughs> All right, how awesome is this? Picturesque virgin little creek in the caribou. Full of cedar trees. That sunshine stream through. You want a milk cart and panning station? Yeah, that'd be nice. Panning by the road. Getting closer to some big stuff and snow still on the ground. This is a big rock though. We're getting close to some more bedrock big material. The nuggets are within sight. Alright. Oh yeah. Cedar everywhere. And then down here we have a devil's club about to bloom and then they get giant leaves but just look at this awful thing can you imagine this thing coming at you or 
brushing up against your leg or getting stuck in your shorts or something. That'll just be just awful. Sometimes I've been falling down cliff sides and I've had to grab onto these and just use them as handholds. Awful. Wear gloves. Look at this old cedar stump. That is absolutely crazy. That's got to be like eight feet across. Huge diameter tree. And then you look at all these cedars. This is probably hundreds of thousands of dollars of wood just contained in this small area here. So when you're on the lookout for gold, be on the lookout for chaga, mushrooms, wood resources, animals, fish. There's all kinds of insane, amazing stuff out there for you to go out and find. Amazing. What fiddleheads? Resources everywhere. This is why you got to get outside, guys. Some delicious ed edible plants. Yeah, that uh, the potato patch is full of these on your gold on our gold claim, likely. Right from the zone at the bottom of the waterfall. Fiddleheads! Fiddleheads! Lots of, lots of mosquitoes and wet feet. We get we're getting bit by mosquitoes and wet feet, but it is worth it. Vortex. Never get a soaker. Nothing? Link below. And then this place is really cool. It's where the burn starts, so potentially a morale area, because they tend to bloom right after the forest fires. All right, we made it to the morale country, the beginning of the burn. Just look at this. Looks like a post-apocalyptic landscape. Just burned for as far as the eye can see. And a nice fresh road to prospect too. Tons of firewood already pre-charred. And the lake, I think, is way down here. But this is morale country. Right after a burn. The spores are out, they reproduce. They're, I think, 50 to 100 bucks a pound, so great opportunity to pair with your prospect. Lake full of trout and gold. This ground looks a lot more wet as we descended in elevation. I know a bunch of these mushrooms and species they have elevation levels that they're abundant in, so if you go above or below that, you might not find much. I think we're getting closer. Bunch of outcroppings breaking apart. Looks kind of similar to some of the rocks in Banff. I wonder who lives in there. Who lives in there? British Columbia is a place full of natural wealth and beauty, but that's really no different than most places on Earth. Keep your eyes open when you're out. You never know what you'll find.